Right now we want to tell you about a former and popular barn, Mill Creek. It's the latest building to be demolished in the township. I want to show you the site of the former Sam Barn. That's at uh, 8th Street and Peninsula Drive. Uh, there's hardly anything left now. Crews earlier today were there uh, excavating crews, that is, from Empire Excavating in Waterford. This is the third building to be taken down as part of the township's Gateway District Project to enhance that area going into Presque Isle State Park. Now, the demolition that was done today follows the demo of the Manor Motel right next door. That was taken down. Last week uh, was the row of rooms removed from behind the Bel Air Hotel. And you're looking at video right now of the former restaurant Joe Root's Grill. That is the next building. So that essentially will be the fourth structure to go down in phase one of this project, a project that township leaders in Mill Creek say will eventually include mixed use space, new spots for eating and shopping. A Northeast family of six, two adults and their children lost everything when their farmhouse went up in flames this morning. The fire was <laughs> Uh, 8780 Smith Road in Northeast. Firefighters from Fuller and Crescent Hose Companies found the home fully involved in flames when they arrived. They called for help from a half a dozen neighboring companies. The fire chief says that this started accidentally. They believe an electrical appliance. The family and their children, three boys, seven, nine, and 11 years old, along with a two month old baby girl, are getting help from the Red Cross. And you can help as well. You can donate to a GoFundMe page called Rebuild the Bartlets. Greenfield Baptist Church and the Northeast 49 Thrift Store are also assisting the family as well. To Crawford County we go. Campers who were planning to stay at the county fairgrounds there on Eclipse Weekend now need to find new accommodations. The county fair board office says the fairgrounds didn't get enough reservations to offer camping during the eclipse. They wanted at least 40. They fell short of that number, and the Crawford County Visitors Bureau says almost all of the hotels in Crawford County are at maximum capacity. Twelve events scheduled to occur throughout the county on Eclipse Day. It's just going to be busy. Meadville right at the bottom of the path of totality, but it is in. You will see the full total solar eclipse there. And we'll be talking about it. Remember, you can find all the eclipse coverage on our website, erienewsnow.com. You can head to that QR code at the bottom of the screen. It'll take you right to our website.